So I'm reading in Philippians the other day, and I saw some things I had never really seen before about this letter that Paul's given to the church of Philippi. And I've read it a lot, but I can't say I've ever seen it like I saw it there. He's in prison, and he's in a very discouraging place, a very difficult environment. But yet I'm reading and realizing that the whole time he's talking, he's being very encouraging. And he's saying some amazing things about staying the course and about letting go of what is behind and pressing on towards what is ahead to win that goal and that call and that prize. And I'm thinking, oh my word, here is Paul in this very dark, difficult environment. I've been in a lot of prisons not because I had to be there, but because I've visited a lot of people in prison. And the prisons I see today, sure, it's, it's not an environment I want to live in, but it's so different than what it was back then. And for Paul, oftentimes a prison could have been a cave or a hole in the ground. But here, here's Paul writing this letter, and we don't know the exact environment. There were times he was under house arrest, but the idea that he's in prison and he's locked up and even questioning probably how long he will still be allowed to live. But yet he's being very encouraging. And I was encouraged uh, probably more than I've been before in reading this passage of Philippians of seeing that could it be that maybe in moments of discouragement that one thing Paul wanted us to get in Philippians was to speak encouragement. That rather than being focused on the moment and the madness of it and the hurt and the question of the unknown and what's next. Here is Paul speaking some very real words and some very encouraging words, even in the middle of a very discouraging place and a discouraging time in his life. It was just really a great moment for me to be reminded that even in moments where I don't get it and life doesn't make sense and it doesn't seem right and it doesn't feel fair and I'm just borderline discouraged. What Paul really reminded me was to press through that and to work through that and to be one of encouragement even in the middle of great discouragement.